Hello, hello, hello. I am back. It's cold outside. It's freezing outside. We haven't had power in days. The power has is back on and have been on since yesterday at about 7 o'clock. So it's been on for a good 24 hours. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so... just grateful that we have power it's still cold outside it's supposed to get cold again tonight colder again tonight but i say well let me do something that i like to do and that's planting seeds so i went to ace hardware and i got a bunch of seeds rosemary Time, dill, cilantro. I found my jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers. Green onions. I got me some Roma tomatoes. Some basil and some aromanth. Aromanth. I hope I'm saying that right. It's cute, so I said, hmm. Let's plant those. And then at the Dollar Tree, got me some California poppies, some zinnias, and some helichrysum. Helichrysums. I hope I say that right. If not, forgive me. So... They didn't have the the big um, containers like this at the Dollar Tree, but I grabbed these. Said I was gonna make me a little mini greenhouse. And I grabbed um, two of these. It looks like there's maybe 12 of them in here. I'm not sure, I never bought that before. And I picked up some um, just a little bag of the peat moss to add to my garden mix that I mixed in the previous video and a notebook so I can keep track of what I have in my other um, that I'm going to be planting today and I don't have to have, run around with a bunch of sheets like this so from now on I will be putting all my little plants in my handy dandy notebook how you guys are doing today i'm doing just fine now that we have power um so i'm opening this up and we gonna start planting y'all i'm excited because these are all things that i have never planted before I'm super excited to see what my garden gonna look like this year. Much better than last year. Um, let me give me some gloves. I got me some gloves. Putting them on. So guys, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So I'm currently at 300. Yes, that's big, a big deal for me. Might not be a big deal for you, but it's a big deal for me. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification button. And if you want to be a family member, please subscribe. I'd love to have you over here. So, I came out here and I don't have no water to put in the plants once I plant them. We'll deal with that later. So, I'm going to take, uh, that just messed the whole pan up. I'm taking the...
label out of the pans. It feels like something in my throat. So I'm taking the labels out. Try to get that back in there. What I was doing. Some what? No, because you're not going to drink that. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Those will be coming back through. You video on yet? Yeah, I'm video on. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Love you, Daddy. Uh-huh. All right, so I got those ready. Let's see how many this is. One, two. Oh, this only gonna fit like that. Two. Well, that was. Eh, I'm not gonna say a waste, but that sucks. No, it's not gonna fit three of them in there. Dang. So, let me see how many in here anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not bad for a dollar, even though they're paper thin, but. That's still not bad for a dollar. So, I have 12. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So, I think I'm just going to... I don't know how I'm going to do this. I did order the um, the little white um, labels from Amazon. And it was supposed to be here. But I guess since the weather is bad... They won't be here until Tuesday. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I will figure it out as I go. But, it seems like the freaking plastic is harder than the doggone aluminum. I'm mad. I thought I was going to have much more room than I do now. This sucks. Let me bring y'all down a little bit so y'all can see. Oh. All right. So, we have our mix that we made in the previous video. And then, I don't know what this is. I'm just going to add a little peat moss to this. Just to make it a little bit more fluffy. to get the big thing of peat moss but I wasn't up to going to Lowe's to get that big old container. I didn't feel like carrying that. So we're gonna mix that up real good. See how that peep, how that holds together. It's 
not too thick, it's not hard. So, all right. <sighs> I'm just gonna put some dirt in them. I keep saying dirt, soil. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna tap it down. How did I get in there? All right, y'all. So after doing a little finagling and finessing, I was able to put three in there. All right, so they sit in there just like so. And I think I will put top. Can y'all see that? I saw I wrote top on, we'll write top on each one of them. Just like that. And I'm gonna get some water so I can water them in. All right, so I just have my water bottle that I just Take from the tap and let it sit for 24 hours to um, remove any of the chlorine that's in there. We we'll just water all of them in. And the soil will settle. And we can just tamp that soil down in there. All right. I'm gonna flip that over. I know that looks disgusting so i'm gonna label them one two and three um so one Top, middle, bottom. And then two, same thing, top, middle, bottom. And three, top, middle, bottom. So I can remember. Um, and I'm excited. The first thing I'm growing is my belt, my, my jalapeno peppers. I've been waiting on this. Been looking for these. plant a lot you guys can see I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna put three to a container and then when they start sprouting, I'll come back and I'll separate them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mom, can you close up the dryer or you want me to put them? They got clothes in the dryer? Yeah. Must have been James. It's like socks and then shoes. It looks like Boyston. Boyston? It looks like it. It's underwear and things like that. Ask me if he had something in there. He said, he said, ask you. It must be Jalen's stuff. Oh, just put it on the bed. Just put it on the bed, yeah. All right, so that is the jalapenos. So we have three, six, nine. And then I'm just going to cover them up. Like so. Bam. And I'm going to water them in. All right, y'all. So that is my jalapeno peppers. So, like I said earlier, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so don't forget to like subscribe and share this video leave me a comment in down below in the comment section so that is my uh jalapenos i'm gonna move that over and before i go too far I'm going to write um, jalapeno, jalapeno, and I know my writing ain't the greatest, but guess what? I can write. All right, so the next one, what am I going to do? I think I'm gonna do a little. Hmm, I'm so excited. I don't know which one to do first. So I'm gonna do a little, a little time. So the top one, I'm gonna do time. Ooh, child, these seeds is itty bitty. Oh, they come, oh Lord, I don't know if y'all can see them. Probably can't. So I'm just going to make a wish. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more. And let's see if I can grab a, a pinch of them. Then spread them out. Just cover that one up. time now what we're gonna need to do is take your seeds fold it over fold it over again fold it over again move it out the way i learned that the hard way last season 
Y'all know what I did? I had a box, a cute little heart box with all my seeds in it. I was outside planting. And guess what? I left the whole box outside. And it rained. And when I went outside and realized I left my seeds in there, guess what? The whole box had rain in it. And tadpoles were swimming in there with my seeds. Needless to say, they got thrown away. Okay, let's do some cilantro. So, right, cilantro for the middle, right there. Oh, these are pretty big. So, I'm just gonna do, uh oh, I'm gonna do three. Put anything in there? I don't think I did. One, uh oh. That's too close to each other. Two, three. And maybe I should do one more. Four. There we go. So, can you guys see that? That's the cilantro. I'm gonna put them, the rest of them back in there. Close that up. Remember, you want to make sure we ain't spilling no seeds. All right, so that was cilantro. And the next one we're going to do is some dill. Some dill. I don't know why I'm growing this dill, but guess what? I'm going to figure it out after it grows. Maybe I'll make me some pickles. Some dill pickles. We'll see. All right. And the reason I don't have a pair of scissors is because it's always a learning process. Last year, I cut, the, cut it at the top and cut the whole name off. And then when it was time to regrow, there was no name on there. So everything is a learning process. So this is dill. I've never grown it before. So it says, hmm, starting indoors is not recommended. But guess what? We're going to start them anyway. Hmm. We ain't listening to that. It's gonna try and spread them out as much as I can. Then now I'm gonna cover everything up. So that was my thyme, my cilantro, and my dill on the bottom. We're gonna water these puppies in. You know what? And I'm gonna take mm. no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna take the water. And water them in like so. Alright. So that's number two. Then, number three, lucky number three. Oh, let's put our seeds up. Hmm, where do I want to go? 
grow some basil, some rosemary, definitely. Let's get the rosemary going. Okay, I got a little slit, so let me see how that's going to work. Ooh, child. That's some little bitty seeds. All right, so I'm going to put rosemary in the second one because the first one is, well, I don't think there's enough dirt in that one for me. All right, rosemary, number two. Put a little bit dirt in the top one. All right, so number two, the middle, rosemary. Let's close the rosemary back up. All right, then we'll do a little basil. How y'all doing out there, YouTube land? All right, so getting our basil on. Ooh, that's the little teeny tiny ones too. All right. So we just gonna kind of like sprinkle them around. And hope they spread it out evenly and try and mess them up. Eh, mess them up. Ah, massage them in. I was trying to say mess them up and massage them in at the same time, but it wasn't coming out like that. So, the top is basil. And what's the lucky number three going to be? Let's see. Let's see. My Roma tomatoes. Oh, for whatever reason, I like these tomatoes. When you cut them, they're not the big beef steak tomatoes as they call them. But I don't know. I just like these. Especially in my salads. When you make a good old cucumber and tomato salad. Yes, Lord. Yo, this little space heater right here is keeping me nice and warm. I ain't putting off that much heat, but I ain't freezing. So these seeds are a little bit bigger. We'll put a little bit more soil up in here, up in here, like so. All right. Ooh. Okay. So, one, two, got them. Surprised I was able to grab that one. I'm gonna put one more. So that's four of the tomatoes in there. Let me see, how can I grab this, put this back in here? Let me see, this is like this is gonna be a mess. <gasps> I got them in there. All right, so that is my aroma tomatoes now we're cooking with gas Roma tomatoes we're going to cover them in like so 
And then we're going to water these bad boys. How you doing? Who is in there making all that noise? All right, so we have our Roma tomatoes, our rosemary, our basil. We have our dill, cilantro, some thyme, jalapeno peppers. We're gonna have a lot of jalapeno peppers and I'm excited, I cannot wait. So, these have been sitting in water, soaking the water from the bottom of the container, soaking that up also. So what I'm gonna do is kind of take these out for a quick second, making sure I don't lose my place. One, two, three, I'm just hold the third one in my hand and I'm just gonna pour that water in there. Three, two, one. So these have soaked up, these are real good and soaked because from the water that I put in there, they soaked in there for what, a good 10 minutes to absorb, absorb the water from the inside, from the bottom also. Um, and then I am going to put the top on them. So it's like a little greenhouse. Effect. and it snaps in place and then you just pop it off when you finish all right guys i'm gonna clean up my mess don't forget to hit that subscribe button that notification bell i'm currently at 300 subscribers i would love to get to a thousand y'all so share me with your friends with your family tell everybody about me y'all my name is Salon Diva V, Home and Garden. And until we meet again, peace.